making some changes to the IQR here. The IQR 860. It's a beast. It's running awesome. They're all beasts in the lineup. Just got the turbo RMK going. It's really nice. But I'm going to be installing this new PowerMad adjustable riser. It's good from about five to eight inches. And it's very solid. And that's what I like about it. So that's why we're going to put it on. There's not going to be any movement with this baby. That's my mission for right now. This is the time to be doing things, boys. There's no snow right now, right? So we get in here, we make our changes, get them all done, and then we can get, oh, beep. We get in, get all our stuff done, our mods made, because the snow's coming, still is coming. We're only, only two weeks behind, really, for our, for our real fun riding. You trail guys, you've been out riding already. You've had some good luck with it, but our backcountry stuff really isn't happening. Hasn't been too good. But we're just in here tinkering around. We got that turbo done. Got uh, working on the Indy over there, the Indy Light. Got the Articat 600 Snow Pro. It's running pretty good now. I'm gonna show you a video on that really soon. And uh, what else do we have? Well, we're gonna do some racing with the Rush. Got a Rush in the lineup. Simon's got a Rush, he and his brother. And Keeley has his secret weapon. I think it's just about done. So we're gonna go out and unveil that and do some racing, hopefully. It's gonna be pretty funny. Now, put those top ones down. Usually if you just unloosen, unloosen the bottom, you can rotate the bars. And... Oh my boy. Put this bad boy on. This is a beauty. Very well made. I use their risers and pretty much every sled I have and their hand guards and I love them. They're great but I can't wait to try this one out. This is the newest, the newest little treat that they have for us. Now I need to, yeah I do need to trim that. So I'm going to kind of install this upside down. The reason is because I have this bracket here that holds my air fuel uh, mixture ratio and the uh, thermometer, my coolant temperature. So I'm going to do it like this. And I like risers, um, especially where we ride, because you got to stand the whole time. You got to be able to pop your sled up. A lot of guys in the mountains, they don't run uh, risers. That's just because their sled's always like this, and they don't have to reach very far to grab their handlebars. But we do. We have no choice. It's just the way it is. I don't know if it's gonna look as good. It's gonna look as good? Ah, I don't know. We'll see. That's how we do things. Let's see if it works. There, now I'll just loosely put this one in up top. Let's see if it interferes with anything. I'm going to need a 13 mil wrench to get those bottom ones. I get a lot of questions about risers and uh, throttle extensions and brake extensions. And when you, every sled's a little bit different. You know, some uh, right out of the factory have uh, long enough brake cables and throttle cables that you know you can usually get away with a two to three maybe even a four inch extension if you're lucky uh, but you got to watch because if you make it too tight um, and you don't put an extension on it whenever you turn your sled's going to throttle up and it could hurt you or it could stay kind of pinned on you a little bit that's not a good thing so you know you really got to check it out make sure you got a lot of room in there to play if not power mad does make throttle extensions and uh, brake extensions uh, hydraulic, of course, for your hydraulic brakes. I use them all the time and they're great. I've never had an issue with them. Um, this one has them. I never leave home without them. You want to bring them up both about the same amount. You don't want them cockeyed. Since these are an extruded aluminum, they're going to grip onto your bar 
See that little knurled edge there? That's what really grips. How's that? A little too far forward. A little too far forward. These knurls are doing the job. There. Don't move. I'll take it out, take it for a rip, see how I like it. Pretty easy adjustment, easy to do. Five to seven inches, five to eight inches. That is a big riser. All you do to tighten this up, there you go, that's it, that'll do it. Oh, too tight, back that off a little bit. The good thing about these adjustable risers, if you've got a long ride in to where you want to go and play, you can just lower them down, easy peasy, so you can just ride more comfortably. And when you want to get out and really play um, and uh, raise them up nice and high, you can do it. That's really good. Now, if you're really tall, this is going to work really, really well for you. You don't want it too high, it's just not going to work that well. But these, I like it. That's awesome. I gotta thank you guys for joining as usual. Make sure you check out PowerMad on the interweb and on social media. They have all kinds of cool products. We use them all the time. We're gonna be installing more stuff soon. Make sure you come back as usual. I think we're even gonna give something away. Thanks for watching.